Hello everyone, Dr. Lisa Thompson here and welcome to another episode of The Doc Is In. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you must overcome and break the shiny metal object or magic pill mentality. Every online marketer goes through this phase. I went through this phase and it's probably one of the biggest ahas I had to learn to um, understand before I could move forward in my online business. You know, it's really harder to buy something off the internet. Why? Because there's less trust. Yes, it's easier now, but there is the sort of a veil. You can't see who's behind the curtain on the internet. You don't know if the picture you're looking at on the website is the guy who really created the system or a paid actor or actress. Buyers are becoming much more savvy when purchasing online and it's harder to convey trust on the internet. Now there are some legitimate ways to reach real buyers and make some serious money in online marketing but the vast majority that you will come across when you sign up for mailing lists they're gonna be hyping you the next shiny object. These shiny objects are the new ways to get rich quick overnight and they are only offering theoretical concepts. Things that sound like they will work but they don't show you how they will work. And most of these guys have no clue about the real world profitable tactics out there which I am going to reveal to you throughout these episodes. Please avoid shiny object syndrome. I know for a fact when I attend seminars and webinars and I talk to people, both the attendees and presenters, and found that there are many gurus out there that are teaching that don't quite get what internet marketing is all about. And you know what? That's very sad. You see, because the internet is always evolving. There's always going to be a loophole, something that's new, a new company that comes out that's like MySpace or Facebook. You see, with every new trend, there's going to be a new loophole or a new tactic. The problem is, is that people mistake that strategy as the end-all, be-all, instead of using it as a tool for building their online business. You see, given how the Internet is always evolving, trends are going to come and go. So that means your business is coming and going. Your sales are coming and going. And that's really not building a real stable, healthy, profitable online business. Now let's take a look at a recent example. Google AdWords advertising using pay-per-click was the hottest internet marketing trend in the early 2000s. And people were making money hand over fist. As the decade drew to a close, guess what Google did? They decided to change the rules, penalizing marketers, and then all of a sudden, the money dried up and everyone jumped to Facebook to advertise. You see, the bottom line is, if your business is based on a strategy, you don't have a business. Your business has to stand on its own and leverage the different tools that you're going to learn in these trainings. While we're, out, while we're talking about the right mindset, let's take a deeper look into this magic pill mentality before we get into actual strategies and tactics. I want to tell you something. If you get this part wrong and you have the wrong mindset in the business building process, it doesn't matter what I reveal to you and what ahas I've learned along the way or who uh, other gurus you listen to, you're not going to achieve your long-term result. On the screen in front of you right now is you're going to see the typical online marketer who doesn't make any money goes about making money online. First, they enter into online marketing with the wrong mindset in the first place. They buy the first, best, and greatest magic pill product out there. There are programs that have loopholes or exposing some secret that will change internet marketing by a click of the button or 13 clicks on the mouse. The cycle starts by buying into the hype. Next, they consume the product. If they're an action taker, they're going to go through it. However, most internet marketers won't even take action and wind it back up at square one. With the rare internet marketers who do take action, they may actually make a small amount of money, 
but the money is not long term and the income stream dries up. At this point, they're not building a business, they're looking for an edge. Now, after they experience some small success at making money, once the first obstacle or speed bump happens, they stop and then search for the next magic pill. They can't handle the loss and it's a major shift in their world and everything is thrown out of whack. So they can't handle the obstacles and go in search of the next magic pill product. It's a vicious cycle, isn't it? There have been a lot of internet marketers, myself included, who have fallen into this awful pattern. Have you? It's so easy to fall into this pattern. It's the dirty little secret. How many internet marketers make money online? They pander to those who are in the magic pills circle. If you look in your email box, there is a product launching every single day. However, I learned the way to break this vicious cycle. And this was taught to me by one of my mentors. Understand this concept right now. Push button money, business in a box, it's dead, it's over. 2003, 2005 was the year where people made a ton of money with push button money, such as Google AdWords. Google AdWords is really a Google advertising system. You would put AdWords up on your website, direct, those tra direct traffic to those ads, and when someone clicks on those ads, you would get a commission. Guess what? Things have changed drastically since 2003. It's 2013 now, and the whole game has changed. Now I'm going to quick switch gears here. I'm going to quick uh, pause this video as I bring up the next slide. Okay, now I have the next slide up here. Now we're going to take a look at the entrepreneur marketing mentality. Okay, the entrepreneur way to making money online is to focus on one core business model. The basic framework to every business is to attract new customers. It's your job to convert those new customers and turn them into leads, which some eventually will turn into sales. Just like with the magic pill model, you're going to run into obstacles and setbacks. That's a given with any business. Obstacles come up whether you're planning for them or not. And there's going to be a lot of them. The difference is, is the model that you are learning right now is that you're going to apply a proven level of testing and make tweaks to your system and you're going to keep doing this until you move over the roadblock that's popped up. What you will find is that the obstacles that happen in this business are only temporary. You know that was a big release statement for me. There's always a way around uh, a challenge when you're dealing with them. You just have to start using your head and think and mastermind and strategize with other like-minded entrepreneurs. At this point, you're probably going to find a solution that will not only allow you to offer more value to your customers, but make more money in the process. And then you reinvest part of your revenue into buying more advertising and driving more traffic to your site and attract more customers. You see, I think this is a much better and less stressful business model, don't you? You don't have to keep purchasing products all the time. When you follow this workflow and have a certain mindset, the push button solution product launches that arrive in your email box become irrelevant. You are now focused on your business model, which is going to get your daily which is going to get your daily freedom number. Okay? Your focus is going to be living your freedom number not anxiously awaiting your email box for the next push button product that's going to promise you a million dollars overnight with only 13 clicks of your mouse button. Now it's important that there will be products that will come along that will help you develop your core business model. Not replace it. Develop it. All right, That is the key word. Develop it. And you will instantly know what those products are. If this product pulls you away from your core business model, it's one you don't need. So whenever you see a new product coming to your email box, ask yourself, do I really need this product to build my core business model? If you apply this entrepreneurial mentality before you get started, it's almost impossible for you to fail. Why? Because you're going to test and tweak this thing into a winning business. The point is you're always moving forward to hit your daily freedom number. 
That's very powerful, folks. The only way you fail is by stopping and leaving your business model and looking for the next shiny object. The only person that wins is the internet guru who sold you the product. Working one business model positions yourself for maximum business growth. Think of your business like growing a plant. You plant the seeds, you water it, you nurture it, you weed it, and eventually it will grow. So here's what I want you guys to do as an assignment tonight. Sit back and really ask yourself this question. Am I on the magic pill mentality right now? Am I constantly searching for, this, for the next shiny object? Make a decision today to commit to one business model and stick with it. Write it down in a journal. Say, today is the day I'm stopping this and I'm going to move forward. Now, some of you may have heard here I was talking about a daily freedom number. We're going to get to that in another segment. But right now, this is going to conclude our uh, video session for today. What I want you guys to do, if you can do me a huge favor, and if you found this video helpful, could you please leave me some comments? I would greatly appreciate it because um, I would like to tweak this if I need to. And also, if you found this video helpful, can you share it with some of your friends? That would, be, that would really be great. So again, this is Dr. Lisa Thompson signing off, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.